Welcome to another video from ExplainingTheFuture.com and to the second of three films about obtaining resources from space. Last time we looked at how we may venture into orbit in order to most efficiently harvest energy from the Sun. In this video we're now going to travel far further to see how future space pioneers may obtain raw materials from the asteroids. Asteroids, also known as minor planets or planetoids, are chunks of space debris in orbit around the Sun. They are the material left over from when the planets were formed, and range from a few metres to hundreds of kilometres in diameter. Most asteroids are located in the main asteroid belt between the orbits of Mars and Jupiter. This contains millions of asteroids, of which 750,000 are more than one kilometre across, with over 200 exceeding 100 kilometres in diameter. Asteroids in the main belt are so spread out that most are hundreds of thousands of kilometres apart. Located outside the main belt are three groups of near-Earth asteroids called the Atons, the Amors and the Apollos. These groups contain about 9,000 asteroids, with nearly 1,000 more than one kilometre in size. Due to their relative proximity to our planet, some 1,500 near-Earth asteroids are prime candidates for mining operations. Asteroids are made of a variety of materials, with the majority classified as C-type, S-type or M-type. C-type or carbonaceous asteroids are the most common, and are thought to consist of carbon compounds, rock, up to 20% water and some metals. S-type or silicaceous asteroids are then mostly made of iron and magnesium silicates with smaller quantities of nickel and iron as well as some platinum group metals. Finally, M-type or metallic asteroids are mainly composed of pure nickel and iron with smaller platinum group deposits. A single platinum-rich 500 meter wide asteroid has been estimated to contain 1.5 times the known world reserves of platinum group metals. Out in space, the water to be found on C-type asteroids will be just as valuable as metal deposits, as water is a critical commodity both for sustaining humans in space and as a source of oxygen for rocket fuel. Even basic asteroid rock may prove a valuable building material, as it could shield humans from deadly radiation. As all of these examples illustrate, there are significant possibilities to exploit asteroids as a valuable source of extraterrestrial resources. It has indeed already been calculated that some individual asteroids contain raw materials worth more than $100 billion. Asteroids are likely to be easier to mine than the Moon. This is because even the largest asteroids have very low gravitational fields. This means that it would be relatively straightforward for spacecraft to both travel to asteroids and to launch back into space. Extracted metals, water and other valuable raw materials could therefore be readily transported to the Earth or other locations, perhaps in vast rocket trains. Once suitable asteroids have been identified, they could be mined in various ways. For a start, on larger asteroids, bases may be established. Here, any human quarters could potentially be cut deep into the rock to provide radiation shielding. Industrial facilities attached to the surface would then process and store extracted materials. As an alternative to establishing long-term bases, limpet ships may temporarily attach themselves to asteroids large or small. These potentially robotic mining craft would then eat into the surface and accumulate extracted raw materials in their cargo bays. Limpet ships are likely to be the preferred option to mine smaller asteroids, or to extract concentrated deposits of critical materials from large asteroids that are largely comprised of less valuable rock. As yet another option, processing stations may be positioned near a large asteroid or any densely populated part of a field. Small asteroids or laser-cut asteroid sections would then be fed to the processing station, refined into useful materials and once again sent back to the Earth. Alternatively, rocket trains may transport small captured asteroids or asteroid sections to processing stations in Earth orbit.
While asteroid mining may sound like science fiction, two companies already have pioneering ambitions. The first is Planetary Resources, which intends to bring the natural resources of space within humanity's economic sphere of influence. Also on an asteroid mining crusade is Deep Space Industries, who note that the resource potential of space outstrips that of any previous frontier and without the environmental impacts. Both planetary resources and deep space industries plan to commence their off-world activities by prospecting with small satellites. Asteroid mining will not be easy and is currently not an economic proposition. But with the resources demanded by humanity set to triple by 2050, and with finite resource supplies here on Earth, we may well be excavating space rock not that many decades from now. Further, as we'll see in the next video, by the middle of this century they could also be mining operations on the Moon. But now that's it for another video, and I hope to talk to you again very soon.